What's up, family? I must say, sometimes change isn't that easy. Sometimes it's just not an easy process. Sometimes it just seems like it takes forever. And when I tell you, sometimes that can be very discouraging. And being in that mental space is hard to keep a separation between the mental and the emotional. And when it's like that, it becomes a spiritual thing because then the devil, the enemy, See, as my pastor put it, he like just like God ass assigned angels to us, to each and every one of us. The devil does as well. So when we're in in this space, then that is when play on our mental, our emotions. He feed us these thoughts and using reality, using the facts against us. But one of his reasons is to pull us further away from God then he can really have at us. You know, the stress, the depression, the anxiety, and, you know, like just all the different emotions that, that oftentimes leave us down and feeling all like just tired, weary, overwhelmed, exhausted, and even afraid at times. Because we want the more, we want the better. We know that this isn't it. But it's like, how do I do it? What do I do? So, two things I want to encourage you and leave you with yes you are correct there is more there is better there is so much more in store for you when we enter a state where we can't figure this thing out we just can't figure it out guess who does the one has the blueprint to our lives the one that created us just like the devil tried to pull, get us to pull away from God like in those times and a number of other times. This is when you enter that space that I'm explaining. That is really the time to draw near. It is. So I want to encourage you to draw near to him. To him. Like take the veil off. Like, be 100. Like, go to him and talk to him. Express yourself respectfully. Vent. Ask questions. Ask for guidance. Ask the why, why, why me? Why did you choose me to walk in these shoes that I'm walking in? Like, ask questions like, what is my purpose? What is it that you really need me to do here? Because you really don't need me. You can choose anyone else, but you chose me. Why? What do you want me to do? Do that and be willing to do whatever it is he instructs you. And two, the second encouragement is persevere through it. 
endure through it. There is another side. Make up in your mind and your heart that you're going to fight to the end. Tell yourself, I didn't get this far, especially in pain, and especially in struggle, especially like just the heartache stuff, like everything that that you've been through. Make up in your mind like that you're going to see it through. You want to see what's on the other side because you believe. You hope for something more, something better, and you know it's to come. Live to see it out. Be willing to go the distance. No matter what it takes, no matter how long. Because guess what? We're going to go through it anyway. We are going to go through it anyway. Why not go through it on the upside of it and not the downside of it? Go through it on the upside of it as a victor. Not going through it on the downside of it. A victim but going through it expecting that change expecting that better expecting that more expecting what sure is the life that he created you to have expect that but lean not on your own understanding but allowing him to show you what that is. Allowing him to walk you into that presence of your future. That's yours. Being obedient, being willing to like, you know what? I'm going to go the distance. I know you got me. I'm not going to worry. I place my trust in you. I place my faith in you. Let's walk this thing out. Just empower me to be obedient. Empower me to do your will. Empower me to serve others. Empower me to do all that you need me to do. And empower me to change. To become who you created me to be. Show me the way. Cover me. Protect me. Let's walk this thing out. Be willing to go the distance. You have all that you need inside of you to do all that he created you to do. He has wired you in a very special way that is connected to your purpose, that is connected to your gifts, that is connected to your calling, that is also connected to the individuals that he needs you to reach, lead, shepherd, teach, even follow. But you must be willing to put in the work and be willing to go the distance. You are stronger than you think. You are stronger than you know. Give yourself some credit. Understand, sometimes you're going to get weary. Sometimes you're going to get tired, exhausted, discouraged. Look, find your strength in Christ, your confidence in Christ. Because that's your foundation. He's your foundation. And he's going to see you through. But what we don't have permission to do or the right to do is quit. Out of all the years we've done wrong by God, he has yet to quit on us. We have no right to quit on ourselves and we definitely have no right to quit on him. So go the distance. There is something special in store for you. Walk this thing out and see it through. I promise you. It's going to be difficult at times. But it's going to be worth it. I love you guys. Be encouraged. Stay encouraged. Be blessed. Stay blessed. I love you. Love you. You got this. Peace.